respected dignitaries my name is am indu as maheshwaran i am assistant professor at safi institute of advanced study department of commerce which is in kerala india my study is actually on domestic gold prices of india during pandemic period 2020 so what made me to study such a, a topic is the um, uh, high volatility found during the pandemic period on gold gold prices so when i made a little bit of literature review i found that some studies have made an um, uh, the uh, study of uh, macroeconomic some macroeconomic indicators whether they are related with the gold prices or not i thought that uh, yes it is uh, really going to be worth to study on such a topic that whether all the uh, macroeconomic indicator which uh, which fluctuate during this pandemic period whether it directly affect the um, uh, gold prices or not and uh, as we all know gold is considered to be has a safe havens investment during the crisis period especially because of its high liquidity and uh, this will be the most preferred instrument in uh, instrument to invest by the investors so uh, much um, volatility is not uh, uh, or is not found in the gold prices as it will be at the increased and during all the periods because of its though the people doesn't have um, much confidence in uh, much other investment avenues uh, they are confident in the claims of gold etfs or sovereign gold bonds so this is my study uh, my study intends to um, uh, know about the influence of macroeconomic indicators on the gold prices i have considered the correlational analysis about among these variables and i have also tried to study the pattern of these uh, um, uh, the prices of gold <coughs> so i have considered only the domestic gold prices in this uh, scenario my study will be extended to uh, the gold futures or uh, um, uh, gold futures and gold etfs in the future period yeah, now the currently i have studied only the domestic gold prices and influence of macroeconomic um, indicators on the domestic gold prices so my introduction is due to the influencing factors such as high liquidity and safe havens investment gold is one of the most preferred investment in the world that is what i have mentioned um, earlier though the dim physical de uh, demand for the physical gold decreased during this period because of the lack of supply and all those things the claims on gold the instruments that have claims on gold like gold etfs and sovereign gold bonds um, is very relevant during this period people usually switch over from other avenues to the gold um, such uh, instruments like gold etfs and sovereign gold bonds because of which the uh, the hike in the price of gold is seen during especially during the crisis period so several inf uh, studies have pointed out the influence of macroeconomic indicators on gold prices but uh, um, uh, i didn't find any study which uh, have taken more than one macroeconomic indicator the present study looks into the changes in gold uh, prices corresponding to the change in the values of important macroeconomic indicators my objectives have a br i have made a broad objective so that which means that my study will not be stopped here it will be extended further the, to study the pattern of gold prices in the, in india during 2020 to find the relationship between the gold prices and different macroeconomic indicators during 
the research and methodology in my study um i have collected the information from authentic websites of department of economic affairs government of india national stock exchange and reserve bank of india and the period of study will, uh, will be 2017 to 2020 july 2020 The study examines the pattern of gold prices with the help of mean returns and standard deviation of the gold prices for past 3.7 years. The relationship of gold prices with the prominent uh, macroeconomic indicators were found um, uh, and were examined with the help of correlation coefficients. And the t-test has been conducted to in order to um, uh, find the significance of this of the results. so i have mentioned that i have uh, come i had come across to with some studies um, uh, of mac uh, link between what is the relationship between macro economic indicators and the gold prices smith 2002 studied the correlation between the gold prices and the price of market indices and found that there is insignificant correlation between the two variables even i got the same results Jaster 2008 studied the impact of exchange rates in gold prices and found that fluctuations in US dollar determines the gold prices. Boyer and Selmy and Woher their results they study um, regarding the gold prices and the results were indicated that there is a positive and strong de uh, dependence between gold returns and the composite uncertainty index. so now i'm directly coming to the results um so this is the chart and i i'll, I'll give you the description it is found it has been observed that the gold prices in the pandemic period of covid 19 have drastically increased initially when the my i have my period of the in my period of the study in january 2017 the price of gold was um, at uh, rupees 81.81224.6 uh, Per uh, troy ounce, which came up by one lakh thirty eight thousand one eighty point five in July twenty twenty, which shows the drastic increase, or which had the difference of between these two of rupees fifty six thousand nine fifty five point nine. This indicates that the gold prices surge during the periods of crisis in an economy. The investor during these times withdraws from various other investment avenues and switch over to the safe havens investment that is gold. This is a table regarding mean and standard deviation of the gold prices of all those of the period of the study uh, from 2017 to 2020. I'll focus on the standard deviation. You can find that in 2017 and 18, it, the standard deviation is nearly about 1,400 to 23, 23.38 in 2017, 18, 1,689.40, but it increased to. Seven thousand four sixty four point seven three in two thousand nineteen and twenty twenty nine thousand nine twenty seven point one one. So here we can find out that uh, in the year two thousand nineteen itself, the gold prices start started increasing, and which will be my extension of the study in the next uh, in the very future. so i have to find out why because um, the covid 19 has started uh, rare cases has started from december only you no know, and february uh, in kerala and all february only we identified but uh, why the gold prices was um, uh, in at its surge in uh, 2019 itself it is the question to be answered or it will be my further research also so uh, uh, the description of the table is are um, uh, the reasons behind why high standard deviation in august 20 2019 that is a just an hint which i have to study in uh, more rbi i found that in the uh, annual report of rbi they had started a new form of reserve in the name of gold deposit reserve in the year 2019 
and GDP was at, at its lowest in 2019 when compared to uh, uh, se- past seven years. It came down to nearly five percentage during the third quarter of the um, uh, 2019. And obviously in 2020, why standard deviation is so high? It is only because of the um, pandemic period or pandemic disease that we outbreak of the pandemic disease to COVID-19. You can find the pattern of macroeconomic indicators during the period of study, which uh, um, clearly mentions that there is a hike in the prices in every macroeconomic indicators during 2019 and it is high in 2020. So this is a table regarding correlation analysis and I'll, uh, I'll give you the description regarding this. A significant strong relationship of um, uh, gold prices is found for variables like foreign exchange reserves both in rupees and dollars and exchange rates. A significant negative relationship is found between the gold prices and the interest rates actually. For the variable um, variables like GDP rates and inflation rates, the gold prices are related significantly, but it is in the moderate manner only. The other macroeconomic indicators such as gold reserves of RBI and the prices of Nifty 50 are found insignificant um, in, as in the case of Smith 2020 to the, uh, so 2002 um, uh, towards the gold prices. The result also confirms the negative relationship of gold prices and the gold reserves of RBI, which actually converts the established theoretical framework. Because according the, to the th- theoretical framework, uh, as the gold reserves of RBI increases, the definitely the gold prices will also come up. But in my study, it has found that there is a neg- negative relationship um, between these two um, uh, indicators. So my study can be concluded that um, uh, this is an attempt to analyze the gold prices during the crisis period and gold is actually um, uh, is the safe havens investment and it is very obvious from the study that regular investors especially during the COVID uh, pandemic period they switch over to the uh, investments in gold and um, whenever there is an increase in foreign exchange reserves and decrease in go, uh, interest rates and exchange rates which are strongly correlated to the gold prices. So, uh, so that's all for my study and I have a f- um, few uh, plans for the future results of continuation of the same things. One is why gold prices increased in 2019 and the, I will also um, uh, make the comparison of the previous years also um, uh, the gold prices uh, by taking the other macroeconomic factors. Thank you so much. Thank you.